Hey and welcome back. In this video I'll be showing you how I made the next step in updating my home desk setup. I'll be adding a wall decor with some nice neon colors. First I needed to measure the length of my work desk to see how long the wall plate needs to be. Of course I measured once and cut twice. My work corner as it is now will no longer be the same after I put on the wall the painted plate with the help of my father and my wife. Looking at this setup and the wall, this will be the last time you see it like this. Here's how it turned out. What do you think? My wife really envies my corner considering how it looks now. That the wall is done and for the most part everything is as I imagined. Now the hex patterns turned out really good. Let me take you through what I did and explain why it is the way it is. Here, as you can see, I have one more small project to do to add it to the wall of it all. This panel will contain some painted motifs that have been an inspiration and are part of my years. The workspace is now more stylish with the panel in real life. On the top, I still have a cluster of stuff which I need to move and find the right place for it. The colors really pop and it's not an eyesore, at least for me. First, let me go down under the table so I can show you how I have arranged my cables. The laptop charger will for now just hang like this because in the future I intend to replace the laptop with a real PC. It's true that not all of us have the cables in order but it's better than before. I constructed the brackets and printed them to hold this electrical distributor. After this video is live I'll then post the STL files on the Thingiverse page with the distributor model so you can download it and build it yourself. My office printer is hidden behind this hole. I roll it out so nicely. Here is one little thing I also printed so that I can stop the movement of the drawer when it is in use. The printer is nothing special, it's made by Canon and it's a workhorse for my daily needs. Okay, 
let's roll him back in. The second level is now my table layout. This base is already quite worn out, but it's really nice because the hands, when they are leaning up, and it's a very nice feeling when it's not cold under them. Because the table is quite cold. Here, as you can see, is how the laptop sits. On a filament box, and it's just the right size. So that you don't get scared, it won't stay that way, because I'm planning to print a laptop stand. And of course, when it comes, I'll make a widow about it. I really like this layout more than previous one, when I had a laptop on the side, so now for me it's such a transparent layout and the jump between the screens it's not too bad. So the third thing is my boombox. <laughs> It is of course a small Bluetooth speaker that I got when I bought the phone and it must have a cable in it because the battery degraded is not that great when it's in use. Here in addition I have a small USB hub which I have one USB key, receiver and connecting the printer. The third thing is my 2TB external hard drive on which I have stored mostly of my pictures, videos, musics and in between maybe something from the family. The disk is plugged directly into the notebook for the power. The fifth thing you see is my main monitor. It's a 24 inch Philips that I bought exactly 3 years ago, also on the Black Friday sale. Don't mind the background image, but yes, Cyberpunk is a theme that I like and I can't play the game with this laptop because it's not powerful enough. The layout for now will stay as it is. I must say, I really like how the panel turned out. The base paint is white so that the neon green color pops out next to the matte black color with a combination of the honeycomb pattern. Overall, this is how I set up this corner of mine so far. I intend to print a cabinet or similar uh, box where the drawers will house mostly the things I use daily, of course, and some nuts and screws, different size, thickness and so on. Then under here I will try to install some LED lights so that the corner will have more intimate light in addition to the small lamp I already use which has the ability to adjust the light intensity. Overall, my workspace is now nearing completion. I will add and replace some things here and there such as this monitor which unfortunately has already become too small for my use of work. I would like to mention that if you are interested in anything I have shown so far, write your question in the comments below and I will do my best to answer each one. The device I use here is my laptop from Asus, which is a VivaBook 14 inch and inside of it is an Intel i3-7100U with integrated graphics. Next thing here is my keyboard from Logitech as well as the mouse, which is also from Logitech. 
Let me show you on the screen here a little bit more about which models they are. The mouse, as I said, is from Logitech and it's the M705. The keyboard, as you can see, it looks like this, the K400R. Overall, in everyday use, they still work and because I don't play any games, they don't give me any problems. For the audio, the speaker will remain as it is and it will be replaced in the future. I plan to build a DOI NAS which will replace my external disk. When this will happen, I'll announce it in a future video, but of course I need to finish one project to start a new one. That's all for today, press that like button, subscribe to the channel, stay safe and goodbye.